Okay, so the final part of uh, my uh, Arduino uh, powered uh, mill power feed is uh, done. And uh, that was the uh, digital caliper interface. Uh, you can see right here that uh, the uh, Arduino is correctly tracking the uh, values as provided by the uh, um, by the digital caliper here. And uh, just a couple of things about that. It's being powered off of the uh, 5 volt here uh, with a LM317 that's providing 1.55 volts to the uh, caliper. Uh, there are level shifting, uh, there's a level shifting circuit right up here, which is just really two transistors uh, shifting the 1.5 volts up to uh, approximately TTL level. Uh, that also has the effect of inverting the signal, so I have to take care uh, account of that in the uh, software. Um, the uh, actual digital caliper reading code actually is using an interrupt, uh, of which there are only two on this Uno board. If you used a Mega, you would uh, get, I believe it's four external interrupts. Uh, that means that this board would only ever be capable of supporting two calipers, but that's not an issue for me. Uh, so basically, any all my basic coding is, uh, you know, or maybe I should say proof of concept is done. Uh, obviously, the stepper is working correctly. Just one note on that. Um, I realized after I uh, I shot the last video there that uh, this hex uh, a buffer here was actually inverting the signal the way that I had wired it up. So it was a bit of a fluke that it worked correctly the last time. When I actually corrected my software to take into account that inversion, suddenly things weren't working, and that was related to the fact that my phases were set in correctly on the uh, stepper motor. So the end result is that uh, I could have just uh, left it alone and it would have worked correctly. Uh, I'm only getting about 60 RPM out of the uh, stepper motor at max before it starts to grumble and growl. Uh, on my mill that translates to about 6 inches a minute, so I think that's going to be plenty fast enough for anything I want to cut. Um, apart from that, that's it. So the next step is to uh, shade the light on this thing here so you can actually see that. Uh, the next step is just to put everything together into some kind of a coherent circuit. It's going to be a little bit harder than I th originally thought because uh, uh, I'll be using every single pin on the digital side and actually even a couple of the analog uh, pin inputs for uh, for this thing but uh, should be a good exercise.